is Chris with Homegrown How-Tos. Today we're going to talk about what you need to get started to do your own seed starting indoors. And we've got everything kind of laid out here and it really doesn't require anything fancy, nothing special. A little bit of time and effort, that's really all you need. Uh, the one thing that's not fixtured here is a grow light station, however you want to do that. We've got a whole video on our channel about how we have our grow lights set up. And I encourage you to take a link or look at that video. What we have is everything laid out before you. You've got this big bowl. That is for mixing up the seed starting mix. We prefer to use Jiffy uh, organic seed starting mix. Uh, it does come in a sterile and uh, it has everything that you need to accurately and effectively start your own seeds indoors. Uh, we'll take this seed starting mix, put a little bit of it in this bowl put some really hot water on it to kill anything that might possibly be uh, looming around in there to protect our seeds. And uh, also when we do that, if we add the water to it in this bowl and kind of mix it up, it gets a more thorough water content into the seed starting which mix, which has a lot of peat moss in it. And that doesn't really absorb water all that well if you pour it directly on top. So uh, for some of our plants that we use, we use just little tin foil uh, trays. Uh, one of the most popular things that we do in that is onions, and you'll be able to see that in another one of our videos that we do. Uh, we'll start our onions in these and before we transfer them outside. Uh, you'll need some uh, plant food, and we'll use this at about half to a quarter strength of what is recommended as we use them on our new uh, starting seeds. Uh, and this is a powder form. You just mix it with water and you go from there. And always bottom water. You don't want to do the watering on the top. Uh, if you need to do just a fine mist of water on top of your plants, do that with a water bottle, but you don't want to water the entire soil from the top. Uh, if there's disease or something, some kind of a fungus in there, if you water it from the top, it can potentially splash up from plant to plant and uh, cause you a lot of problems. Another technique or item that we will often use is seed starting kits. Now this is one of the self-watering seed starting kits from Burpee Seed Company. Um, it has peat pellets inside it. You pour the water in and they expand. And then it also has a watering mat in there that you just add the water and it waters from the bottom. So we do a lot of our bigger plants in these, uh, cucumber, broccoli, so on and so forth. Zucchini, that's another one that gets commonly started in these for us. And the last thing that you're definitely going to need is seeds. You can't start seeds without seeds. So, you know, we've got quite a variety here and uh, a lot of stuff to get started on this coming year. But uh, a general rule for starting your seeds is one and a half times the depth of the longest edge of the seed. So if you're taking a, we'll just say a cantaloupe seed. A cantaloupe seed is roughly a centimeter long, maybe not even that. So you're gonna plant them about one and a half centimeters into the dirt, which is roughly, I don't know, three eighths of an inch to a half an inch. So there you go. That's a couple of the things that we use uh, or all the things that we use other than the grow light station, which again is in a different video that you can look up on our channel, to get yourself ready and seed starting throughout the course of the winter. So we're looking forward to a great 2017 gardening season. We'll be posting all kinds of videos for you guys over the course of the next few months. So like our channel, subscribe if you like what you see. And again, I'm Chris with Homegrown How-Tos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.